YouTubers, welcome back. Tyler here again today. And my wife bought me a brand new GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition, which I have in my hand right here. And I love this thing. It makes blogging so much easier. I don't have to hold my hand way out like this, like I do with these cameras right here. Very easy. The uh, image stabilization is great. And I figured today it'd be a fun video on the old S10 to go ahead and see exactly how much lift this guy has with uh, 1.52 rockers according to the cam card and see exactly what it is with the lift with the rockers on there. Let's get started. Okay, it's important to note that this procedure will only work if you have a solid roller cam. And when I mean a solid roller cam, you have a hydraulic roller cam and you have your springs on there without a check spring, it's going to collapse the lifter when it's not running because there'll be no fluid to push up the lifter and you won't get an accurate measurement on your actual valve lift. We're not actually doing like actual cam lift, we're doing more of what's gonna happen at the valve event, which will really show you exactly what lift you're having in your motor. So with that said, enjoy. Okay, so to measure the lift of your cam, while the cam's in your car, you're gonna need a dial indicator, which I have right here. And you need to put the tip of that dial indicator on the most level spot of your retainer. Now my retainer kind of goes up like this, and I made sure that when it goes down, it kind of moves down to the lower lift side. So I know that it'll at least have that much lift with a little more. If it goes up this way, it's gonna indicate that you have more lift. So let's go ahead right here and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna turn the motor over. And you're gonna watch this at a certain point, that needle is gonna stop going around and it's gonna kind of hover in one position. And I've already zeroed this out so you can see exactly where you need to turn that for zero. I'm not gonna to touch it because it's very finicky. It takes a while to get this perfectly set up. So let's go ahead and we'll go look at it. See it's going around. And once you get at the top of the lift, are we still going around? Oh, right here, here it is, see? And it's gonna hover at zero, and then it's gonna go back in the other direction. See how it's perfectly at zero? And now it's on its way up. So what you need to do is get to the full lift on your cam and zero out that dial indicator as best you can. And then when it comes all the way up, it'll come up, you'll see it start counting. It'll start going to one on the small little knob first, and the big knob will go a lot faster. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see right here, turning it over. You see we're going to one, two, to like three and four and five. Going over to 500, here we go. I think we're about to be at full lift here. See how it's not moving? We're on the bottom of the low. So let's go ahead and look at our lift. Well, all right, I got my cheat sheet right here that is off the cam card. And I even tested it at zero last with the 1.6 rockers. I was at 592 on the lift. The lift, according to that, if you put 1.52 from Wallace Racing's calculator, it'll be 562 lift at 1.52 but you also have to put in your lash, and this is solid roller cam, and the lash that I put in there, according to these guys, was 15 thousandths on the lash, what would put me right at, according to that, 547 lift. But the actual ish lift, according to the dial indicator, is 555 thousandths lift, which is actually not bad. And we know we're probably pretty close to that because the little head of that went downstream on the retainer. So we know that we're probably right at that area. And the heads, and that's a good area to be at because when we put these heads on the flow bench, they flowed 264 CFM at 550 lift. So we at least know that we're getting the full benefit of these heads with this cam, with this lift. That doesn't mean that it will be worse if you put more lift on it. I just know that I'm least getting 
the full benefit of these heads with this cam, with this lift. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition video. More to come. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.